Um, so right now I'm clearancing the drive shaft yoke that's about to go on Rally Fighter 49 that has the supercharger and the six speed transmission. So our friends over at Zero Gravity Transmission CNC to custom mount to adapt to the 1350 U-joint yoke. Uh, but because we have so much travel in our suspension, we need to do a little more clearancing on this piece. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now is making a little more room for a little more travel. Dave here, Local Motors, builder, trainer here. Um, we did get the uh, six speed in, the 6L90E. Um, it's from the Cadillac CTSV. So we don't know, we're probably the first ones to do maybe an off-roading car with the CTSV six speed due to the output shaft. We had to have a special machined adapter made to the output shaft so it could fit our uh, drive shaft. And due to the fact that it is, is different transmission than we use the Turbo 400 or the 4L85E, I had the uh, uh, opportunity to re-weld the whole exhaust up. I uh, had to redo the whole thing and uh, it was quite laborious, but uh, I made it work. Uh, I had to re-weld the stainless steel tubing exhaust yesterday. And due to the fact that the shifter lever on our six speed transmission hit the second catalytic converter that's offered on the E rod, so the engine will pass all 50 state emission legal. Um, I had to re clock that and re extend it, and it was kind of like a jigsaw puzzle that I had to put together yesterday. So it took some time, but I got it to work. So for this transmission to fit in the Rally Fighter frame that we have that's made for the four speed or the three speed, we actually had to cut off the frame brackets and refabricate brand new brackets and also refabricate, refabricate a brand new transmission drop for this to work to get the proper uh, plunge angle and angle of the transmission. Because if you have too much of an angle, transmission oil sits back in the pan and you get overheating problems. So it's kind of like a domino effect. Once you change one thing, you have to change another thing. Um, and it just keeps on going down the line until you get everything right. So this car will be at SEMA, so if you guys are gonna go to SEMA, please come down and see it. It'll be actually at SEMA and our new shop at Local Motors in Vegas. You probably got, if you're into Local Motors, you're definitely gonna wanna come down and see our new shop there.